It happened on August 2, 1908, when Lawrence reached the village of Aigues-Mortes, and he saw the Mediterranean Sea for the first time. In the letter home describing that day, Lawrence displayed an exuberance and sense of wonder that was quite out of character. I bathed today in the sea, he wrote. The great sea, the greatest in the world. You can imagine my feelings. I felt that at last I had reached the way to the south and all the glorious east, Greece, Carthage, Egypt, Tyre, Syria, Italy, Spain, Sicily, Crete, they were all there and all within reach of me. Oh, I must get down here, farther out, again. Really, this getting to the sea has almost overturned my mental balance. I would accept a passage for Greece tomorrow. It was almost as if he were describing a religious epiphany. In a way, he was. I will have such difficulty in becoming English again. I loved you, so I drew these tides of men into my hands and wrote my will across the sky in stars to earn you freedom, the seven-pillared worthy house that your eyes might be shining for me when we came. Death seemed my servant on the road till we were near and saw you waiting. When you smiled and in sorrowful envy, death outran me and took you apart into his quietness. The dead men looked wonderfully beautiful. The night was shining gently down, softening them into new ivory. And these soldiers had been very young. Close round them lapped the dark wormwood, now heavy with dew, in which the ends of the moonbeams sparkled like sea spray. The corpses seemed flung so pitifully on the ground, huddled anyhow in low heaps. Surely if straightened, they would be comfortable at last. So I put them all in order, one by one, very wearied myself, and longing to be of these quiet ones, 